everybody. This is Jenny Poo again. Thank you for visiting my YouTube page once again. This time, I am going to be making a McCall's video. I'm sorry, a McCall's pattern. And this time, this video is going to be from the beginning to the end. And I'm sorry about all the shaking. This time, I'm going to be using my my cell phone because it takes much better picture and videos than my than the laptop that I was using so I just want to show you which option we are going to be doing this time Let's see if I can sit this down so it won't be so wobbly We are going to be making option C. So this is two C's in a row. It's this one right here. See, it's McCall's. I'm beginning, I'm beginning to like McCall's. And I just wanted to show you what I'm wearing. I'm wearing my little apron here. I'm not going to be showing my hair because I'm need to work on it. <laughs> Let's just say that. But I made this apron and it's always nice to have an apron when you're sewing because you can put your scissors, not too sharp scissors, but you could put some of your equipment in there. See, I'm not sure how I want to do this. But that is the option we have some fabric. I'm going to be making it in the size 18. Um, and I want to say something about this. A lot of companies, I think, except for Berta, they make their patterns four sizes bigger than the commercial sizes that you would get in the store. So because I wear a size 14, normally I'm going to be wearing a 18 in the pattern world so that would be the same for you as well you may have to just work with the a pattern sometimes just to see how it fits if it's really important like if it's a dress you're going to wear somewhere just take the pattern pin the edges together and see how it fits on you in the area certain areas where you're going to wear it do a pin fitting or so you can cut your pattern out of muslin which is a very cheap and expensive fabric some at my local store I can find it for a dollar ninety nine or two ninety nine a yard and and it comes mainly in tan or white or a, a light brown or tan that's tan and what you could do is you can make it out of that first. We're going to go over our pattern. It says easy. And that's, what it, that's what it is. It's super easy. It's super easy. It's a t-shirt. I'm going to show you the, the drawing of it. Let's see, that's what we're making. This area here is going to be made out of lace. Yeah, so this area here is going to be made out of lace. And the rest of this area is going to be made out of some pink jersey we have. It says that here... See how I can get you to see it. Well, I just don't think you're going to see it that well. But here would be your. I'm going to put this up here so you can see it. Got all that shaking. Okay. 
not going to work. <laughs> Let's try this. Okay. That works. There. Okay. Here, you can't see what it says, but here are your sizes, and I'm right below it. It has, right below this, it has uh, how much fabric you should get for the particular view or choice you're making and because I'm making size well we're not going to go over the size again but because I'm making option C it says here oh that's much better it says here going by my size that I should get one and five eighths of a yard you see that here and here are our sizes. Lightweight. I'm sorry. These are our fabrics here. It says are su suggested. You don't have to get these fabrics, but it makes sense to get them because they would make they would work well with this particular style. Okay. Um, it says you can use lightweight fabrics such as cryptage. I don't I don't speak French, but cryptochine. Or China of crepe. So I'm thinking of crepe fabric, which is not really stiff, but we're going to go over that later. Or you could get a silk crepe, basically. A chalice. We could get jersey, which I am making this shirt out of. A cotton knit. And then C, which is the option we're making it out of says we can also get lace, which I did. Here, the notions, this tells you what you need to make, what you actually need to make your your design with. We're making option C. I'm not going to go over all of these other ones because we're not making it. So it says we need half single bias fold tape to one eighth of a yard. The size is six to fourteen. Two and three fourths two and three eighths of a yard, I'm sorry. And for sizes eighteen to twenty-four, also we would get what it says for six to fourteen. So, yeah. I'm gonna show you this. Seventeen ninety five. That is really expensive. My, I mean, it's really expensive for these patterns now. But one thing I do is I go to joannes.com and I print out their weekly coupons. Normally, they have a coupon every week. And this is also important. <coughs> this tells you what size you are in the pattern world. It, your with your bust waist hip your back waist length that's from the bottom of your neck to the middle of your waist and then it also comes with some other languages uh, normally either French or Spanish so that is our pattern let's look at the picture I like to when I'm making things I like to put them up on the wall so I can keep a good idea of what I'm making and where things go. It's just tape. You don't want a whole bunch of holes in your wall. I'm making, I'm wearing my, I'm just going to let you guys look at that while I talk. I am wearing my apron. And if you do not know how to sew, this is something okay to start off with but I would buy something where you didn't have to buy such expensive fabric and 
where you um where you also didn't have to buy the so some of the notions you could just buy one thread something like an apron or or a small handbag a hat gloves scarves are super easy now we are going to go over the fabric that I chose for this outfit and for this shirt I'm sorry Okay, we are going to go over the fabric. I got it from a store called Joann's. That's way too big. I got it from a store called Joann's. Let's take a look at the fabric. Well, see, they were cutting some other fabrics on that cutting area and they didn't wipe it off good so the little threads are all over my brand new fabric. This is a stretch jersey fabric. It is what hot pink? I would say hot pink. When you're in the store it comes on a boat and on that boat is how much it costs, how many yards are on the boat in case you want to buy the whole boat. It, it also has how many yards it is, which is very important because, as I stated earlier, on your pattern, it tells you how many yards you need, but it also tells you the how wide the fabric is. How many yards you need. 45 inches wide. 60 inches wide. So, I want to match my apron. My coconut apron. So, you can, when you buy these types of jersey fabric, it's a good idea to see how much stretch it has. I'm going to put this camera down so you guys can see. How I test the stretch. This jersey, I'm just tugging it from side to side, pulling it in and out, not super hard, just seeing how wide it stretches. Some knits are not jersey. If you're looking for a jersey, you might stretch a little bit, like that's it. That's how it stretches. This one is super stretchy. It's important to know. Whether or not it's stretchy when you're in the store because stretchy fabrics may not work with a lot of other fabrics, a lot of other patterns that you need. That's important. Let's look at what else I got. I got this lace fabric. Very pretty. This is going to be. This is going to be, let's see if I can get my thumb there, this part of the shirt. So it's going to be pink, it's going to be pink here, and it's going to be laced here. 